it's Nick's POV, and today it's going to be cooking with Nick's POV. I've got a list of supplies, and what we'll be making today is turkey chili and bobo garlic bread. And yes, I'm calling it bobo because you actually just toast a roll and throw a couple things on there, and you've got pretty decent garlic bread. So I'm going to show you how to do all of this today. Let's get started. Here's your supplies. One, one and a half quart pan. One oven. One toaster oven. Of course, your regular oven will do fine for the garlic bread, but toaster oven is preferred. One wooden spoon and one knife. And whatever you're going to use to eat the food and a bowl. So, now to the ingredients. You're going to want soft butter. And depending on how many rolls you're making to do garlic bread, you'll need about a tablespoon per roll, some Hormel turkey chili with beans, some nice fresh baked rolls split in half. But of course, if you have any other type of rolls or bread, that's fine too. Then for spices, you want paprika, garlic, salt, parsley, and for some taste, if you want it, oregano. And last but not least, a nice touch to the chili afterwards. This, of course, is optional if you don't like cheese or if you're lactose intolerant. Mozzarella cheese. Alright, time to start cooking. First thing you want to do is get your saucepan, or your quart pan, whatever it's called. Warning! If you are a youngin, you need a parent to use this! Turn on the front heater, or is this gas, so we have to actually light it, and put it on about medium high. Open up the chili, and pour it all in. Try and make sure none of that residue is left behind, because then you're wasting beans and stuff. With your spoon, you want to spread it around so that way it's not all piled up in the center. You want to make sure it's all the way around the bowl. Alright, while that's cooking, we're going to start on the garlic bread. Since I'm the only one eating this lunch, I'm just going to do one roll. Open it up. Go ahead and open up all your nice little spices too. Open up your butter. And like I said, you want to use soft butter because hard butter will be hard to cut and spread. You want to make sure that the roll is nicely buttered because it helps the spices stick. And it gives it that extra little bit of Julia Child's flavoring. Now once your rolls are nicely buttered, we're going to sprinkle it with pap paprika, You're like bah! Take your garlic salt, and this you want quite a bit of, but not too, too much. Since ours doesn't have a top, I'm going to pinch it, and just spread a little bit on there. And then, like I said, if you just want a little bit of a taste, you can add a little bit of oregano to it, too. Don't make it too overpowering, though. And then you have your garlic bread. Well, bread. You don't have the garlic toast. Next step, you're going to take your nicely, freshly made garlic bread and turn it into garlic toast by sticking it into your toaster oven. Close it up, and you're going to turn it onto the darker brown setting. And if you don't have a toaster oven, just go ahead and pop it into the oven for a little bit until you see that the ed top's golden brown and the edges are a little bit of a darker brown. Back to the chili! Alright, once it gets to this boiling point, you want to make sure you stir it, that way nothing burns. It should be just about done. At this point, if you want to add a little bit of flavor, you can put some mozzarella cheese in there. Makes it a little bit gooier and more scrumdily umptious. So go ahead and stir it around. You might want to turn it off now and just let it cook on its own heat for a little bit longer. Now comes the fun part. Your garlic toast is done. 
Okay, I burnt my edges a little bit, so this probably isn't the best demonstration of it. Hot. But that's what it should sort of look like, where it's golden brown in the center, and then a little bit of dark brown on the edge. I kind of burn it a little, but that's the general idea. And now your meal is ready to enjoy. Hope you had fun learning how to cook something cool with me. Who knows, may do it again. Alright, well, I'm about to chow down on some lunch, so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! Goody, goody. <laughs> oh! And before I go, tell me in the comments section or post a video response of what your favorite food is and how to make it, if you know how. That should probably be a video response, though, because the comments might get really long.